Hi, and welcome to this short overview of fundamental terminology in cybersecurity. When you read and talk about cybersecurity, there are a lot of different terms to keep track of. Many of them are very intuitive in their meaning and their definitions will come as no surprise. Still, many terms are somewhat overlapping or related, or even have a few different definitions and meanings. This can cause confusion or even send the wrong message if the sender and the recipient have a different idea about the meaning of a term. To help you follow and better understand the usage of terminology, we will here discuss some of the most common and fundamental terms. You may have noticed that we already now used one term that needs some context, that is cybersecurity. In this first part, we will define cybersecurity and discuss its meaning in relation to other related terms. There are many related terms that we can discuss, but we should be careful separating them too much. There is much overlap and they are also very often used in a generalized way. The broadest term here is security in itself. It can be seen as protection from fear or harm or danger. It is very broad and includes, for example, economic security, meaning that you have a stable income to support a reasonable standard of living. It includes food security, meaning that people have access to nutritious food. And it includes border security that regulates the movement of people and goods between countries. It also includes many more aspects of security, including information security. Let us narrow it down to information security. Information security is about protecting information assets. This includes both analog and digital information. For the digital information, this is stored on a personal computer, a dedicated server, or in a cloud environment. Information security includes, for example, physical security of the premises and how we hire people, how we plan for and respond to incidents, and how we make sure that the business can continue its operation in case of a security breach. Cybersecurity is the subset of information security that deals with protecting digital information in a cyber setting. This includes networked computers and devices, their communication, their operation, and their storage of data. There are many definitions of cybersecurity. As an example, let us look at the one that is given in a NIST interagency report. There it is defined as the ability to protect or defend the use of cyberspace from cyber attacks. Other definitions are much more verbose. Some only includes malicious errors, as the one we see here that talks about cyber attacks while others also implicitly include unintentional errors in the definition. An example is the one in ISO 27032 that defines it as preservation of confidentiality, integrity and availability of information in the cyberspace. The three terms confidentiality, integrity and availability will be discussed in detail in the next part, so let us leave them for now. Working with information security often includes developing, testing and maintaining systems and policies for protecting information. It also has a large focus on the people accessing the information. On the other hand, working with cybersecurity leans heavier towards protecting against attacks in cyberspace through securing application systems and communication channels by developing technical tools for prevention and detection. Narrowing the scope further, there is also terms used to describe specific aspects of cybersecurity, such as network security, cloud security, data security, application security, communication security, hardware security, software security, web security, and so on. The list seems to never end as we narrow down what we try to describe or protect. We will talk about terminology in cybersecurity, but the terminology is surely relevant to information security as a whole. Also the parts that are not in the cybersecurity subfield. However, since we are not putting much focus on policies, procedures and organizational aspects, we believe that cybersecurity is more representative to use. Still, it is good to keep in mind that there are not very clear distinctions between all the named subfields and there are often significant overlaps. As I mentioned, in the next part we will discuss confidentiality, integrity and availability. This is known as the CIA triad, which is a very central aspect of both information and cybersecurity.